All right, today we're going to draw an apple using contour line method. Remember, contour line method is drawing the outside edge, drawing the outside edge of the object you're looking at, and the interior details. Not a whole lot of interior details on our apple today, so the first drawing is going to be rather easy. Remember, you want to place your apple in front of you so you can see your apple and your drawing at the same time so you have to, don't have to move your head. So I'm going to start and I'm not going to worry about where on my paper I'm going to draw today. I'm going to start down here at the, and draw around the outside edge. Remember you really need to concentrate and focus and look back and forth mostly at your apple and just glancing at your paper to see that you're doing the right thing. That's pretty easy. There's the outside edge of my apple. Now I'm going to go inside and get some of the inside contours of the apple. The inside contours in this case I might try to capture some of the color groups so that when I go back to color I will know where to put the different colors. So the top of this apple has some green. So I'm just kind of getting that shape. I'm also going to draw a line where that hole is. There's a very small Stem. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I might try to capture even this little shine spot here. And maybe some of these other color dark areas in the apple. So that is my first apple. Now I'm going to take a bite out of my apple. Or maybe two. And then I'm going to set the apple up again in an interesting pose. And I might start on the outside again. And this time it doesn't, and it doesn't matter where you put it on the piece of paper. You can even grab a new sheet of paper to draw your second apple. So again, I'm drawing around the outside edge of the apple. It's a very good apple, by the way. Again, this outside edge is pretty easy yet. Now when I get down to the bottom here, there's a little bit of a chunk taken out. Now the interior contours are going to be the bite. So I'm going to pick up my contour here. Follow that contour. Again, that where the stem is. Might put some of those colors back in. And I also might try to get some of those shadows and bite marks that are on the inside. Obviously not going to be able to draw every single one. These are kind of like the creases in your fingers. Okay, so now I've got my two apples drawings so far. You're going to continue taking bites from your apple in hopefully interesting ways and draw your apple. And you can draw it as many times as you want and you can fit a few on a piece of paper or you can just draw one on a sheet of paper. And as you can see, I've drawn the apple many times.
Okay, so I've drawn my apple like three or four times, you know, all the way down to the core. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut those apples out. And you don't need to cut them right up to the edge. You just want to cut them out, kind of rough cut them out. This is why it didn't matter where they were on the piece of paper. I just want to get them roughly cut out so I can plan my composition. All right, now you're going to start planning out your composition. So you're going to think about what, what position you want to put all of your apples in. And you can lay them down even though they were standing up. You can overlap them so it looks like one is behind the other. And remember, you have to have at least three apples. Your apples can go off the page. And you're planning out where they're going to look best. One of the things you don't want, and it's going to be against the rules, is you don't want to have your apples lining the bottom edge of your paper like this. And you don't want to have them all just in a row. You want to kind of balance your composition so that it looks interesting. Okay, decided on my composition. I actually took one of the apples out. I just felt like it was too crowded. But I overlapped one apple, which I think is interesting. And now I'm going to tape them down. And you don't have to over tape, just to keep them in place. Like that. And then you'll take another piece of drawing paper over the top and you'll trace. And we have light tables around the room. Some of you will be able to see just fine without a light table or you can use the light table and you can trace your drawing. And don't try to, try to go quickly because we have a lot of people to use the light tables. In fact, you can sometimes even go back to your table if you just draw in most of the details or the outline, you can do the details back at your table. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is give my, my apples kind of an environment to be in, so a table to sit on, so they don't look like they're just floating in space. You could put a straight line, you know, or you could give it a curved line so it looks like it's sitting on a rounded table. Or maybe it's on the corner of a table and you put the edge like that. Kind of like that. So I'm going to erase that other line. Could also make it look like there's maybe a napkin or something underneath to make it more interesting. You could divide this, the wall space as if maybe there's two separate walls and make it easy and more interesting to color. So there's my composition and I'm ready to start using colored pencils.